people of YouTube. This is my channel, Sonic OSX, and I'm trying to get it off the ground. But more importantly, I'm trying to get something, well, I guess not more importantly, but I'm trying to get something else off the ground. And this is my newly bought MacBook 2006. Uh, well, I guess I can go down a rundown of the specs. I'll put a list of the specs in the description, but uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, it has a 1.8, uh, hmm, actually, I think it's at the bottom. Let's check. Okay. Let's see. see if I can get this in the camera for you. Um, oh, upside down. Wait, yep, upside down. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get the darn thing to focus. 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 Do as you're told. Okay, maybe I can't get it to focus. Is it going to? No, I don't think so. Okay, so I just read it out to you. It says um, 1.8 2 times 512 uh, combo, meaning uh, it has a 1.8 dual core Intel Core Duo, not the Core 2 Duo, which came later. Um, so, with that in mind, we can't upgrade to Lion, but uh, 10.6 Snow Leopard works uh, pretty well on this machine. Um, I currently don't have a battery for it. I won, it, uh, I won this on, in a bid in eBay for around $40, uh, and, and uh, no, $30, and I bought the charger separately for 10 I think. Uh, so... Um, and what I'm trying to do with this machine now is I'm trying to get it to run as fast as it possibly can. I'll play in the MagSafe here. Um, recently, um, I just took out this hard drive. Well, it's not the hard drive that came with it, but uh, it's a hard drive that I had on me and just to see if it would boot Snow Leopard, and it did. It was a great 80 gig drive that I got out of a uh, Lenovo ThinkPad. It was a Hitachi Travel Star, I think that's what they're called. Um, now I have another Hitachi Travel Star, which is a three maximum of three gigabytes of memory, uh, three gigabytes of uh, ooh, um, a transfer rate, and it's a 500 gigabyte drive. And I had to rig that thing to get in there. Uh, there's a difference with the connectors. Hold on, I'll show you. Um, See if I can find my other drive here. Oh, darn, I put it back in my other computer. I don't think it's on, so I think it's safe to take it out. Okay. See, this hard drive has, I don't know if you can see, it has no, there it is, there it is. It has no shield over the connector pins. This one does. See the difference? And I guess it had a shield on the the connectors had a shield on on the con, on the hub inside the MacBook, and so I had to rigorously try to um, take that piece of plastic off without breaking the uh, hard drive itself, and I succeeded, which I will show you soon. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do a RAM upgrade before booting this machine up again. Okay. Let's uh, see if I can zoom you in here and bring it closer on the tripod. Bring the table closer. Okay. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to um, move these notches to the left. And they pop out like so. Let's see if I can bring you closer here. And see, we're going to take these out to the side. Push this again. Okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, this is a Samsung... 512 megabyte PC2 PC2 5300s. Let's see, and there should be two of these in here because I think this is the factory installed RAM, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yep, another Samsung 
512 megabyte. And now I will go get the other Millennium stick. You know, um, let's see. I have a bunch of RAM on my shelf. Excuse the mess on my bed. Um, I know I'm not supposed to keep RAM like this, but it happens. Uh, let's see, DDR, DDR2, but a 256 stick, don't want that. Uh, another, oh, this is SD RAM, okay. Um, I'll go looking for it. Let's see. I'll be right back when I find some RAM. Okay guys, I cannot find any loose RAM, so what I will do is I will take some RAM out of this machine, which is a um, Dell Vostro Windows machine uh, 1000. Uh, I currently have Windows 8 installed in here. It has an AMD X2 Athlon. Uh, okay. So what I'll just do is, I think I have two gigabytes in here and that's what I'm trying to upgrade this to, which is the maximum. So um, I think I have another gig stick lying around somewhere. So whenever I find it, I will put a gig point five in here, 1.5. Uh, while this will have two and I should basically be able to run iMovie. Uh, I don't think I can run Final Cut Pro on integrated Intel graphics. So. Uh, I'm going to begin taking the RAM out of this and see how it works. Okay guys, I got my handy dandy screwdriver. It's one of the screwdrivers I use for everything. Okay. Uh, let's see, just uh, remove this tiny screw here. I hope I'm getting this on camera. Am I? Yes. Okay. And remove another tiny screw here for the loop door. Um, okay. Well, well, I'll be darned. I have one two gigabyte stick in here. Samsung one two gigabyte stick. Okay. Um, only two gigabytes are supported, so I guess I'll just shove one two gigabyte stick inside of the um, other MacBook. Okay, I'll just move this here. Go get the MacBook. Okay. Uh, here we go. So, let's see if I can... We're just going to put our RAM in like this. See, I think the diagram says for it to uh, go in... That was it? Okay, we're gonna make the little notch go on this side and we're just going to uh put it in here. Okay, just I guess push that down. Oh yep, feel like it mm, locked into place. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, just one RAM. I, I'm not sure if but probably I think I read on the internet if I put another stick in here it'll just show a green uh, black screen nothing will happen so before I reinstall that little metal bracket over there let's see if it'll uh, boot up let's see here. get the little MagSafe connector uh, if I can get it over there it just pops right in okay. let's see if I can get this on screen here stupid tripod all right, and we're just going to uh, hit it here. Hopefully we have a bomb. And she bonged everyone. Um, so right now we have a two gigabyte stick and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, okay, little, oh, okay, okay. Just wondering, I was like, oh goodness. I knocked the hard drive out, I think. So now we're just having a little apple spinny thing. Um, you know, I suppose I just put these two 512 sticks inside of this computer for now. I mean, it's running Windows 8, so it'll probably run a little suckish. But um, not a main machine at all, just something that's lying around. 
that I use now and now to do random experiments on. Uh, oh, here we go. It's on my wallpaper. And we have the duck. All right. We have... Let's go about this Mac. Okay, we have Mac OS X 10.6.8. I wonder why this thing isn't focusing. I'll probably figure it out in the next video. Uh, processor 1.3 gigahertz, uh, Intel Core Duo, uh, 1.83 gigahertz, two gigabytes of 66, 667 megahertz DDR2 SD RAM. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna use a black this speed test, Blackmagic speed test. Uh, uh, I've tested uh, my hard drive uh, with this program uh, earlier today, and when I with the 80 gigabyte drive, I was getting 36 megabytes uh, read and write, and uh, and then now when I have the 500 gigabyte hard drive with the three gig three gigabit uh, three gigabytes a second. Um, speed max I'm now getting a hundred megabytes but no 96 megabytes per second so I'm gonna test it again and see if the memory upgrade changed anything nope still getting 96 I don't think it would have changed anything it probably I uh, just wanted to see if anything different would happen okay um yes uh, everything seems to be working great. Uh, well, great news. I can edit this video later with iMovie. First movie I'm ever going to edit with iMovie. Uh, so now I'm going to shut this thing down. And so we can finish installing that bracket. Alright, uh, I got that in. It gave me a little trouble. I didn't want the video to get kind of boring. Um... Okay, so I have the Mac safe in now, and I'm not sure if I want to do a full review on this machine. Probably my next video. Now that I've upgraded it, um, I'm probably going to do a full review next video. Um, stay tuned for that. Um, and for new people who want to look at my videos, uh, this is going to be my second video that I've ever um, uploaded to YouTube. Um, I'm trying to get a get trying to get my channel off the ground here. Um, not looking for anything fancy or anything. Uh, you know, just want to put my videos out there and see if it's helpful for anyone or see if anyone just wants some entertainment. But um, what I really want to say is that uh, I've also had inspiration for these videos. Um, it's my natural color of uh, this YouTube video, uh, this YouTube channel that was made by uh, this uh, dude Tom. He's uh, he's a uh, in um he's in uh, uh Britain, I think he is a uh, in I I Great Britain. I, I yeah, I believe that's where he is. Um, but uh, he has a great channel with a lot of tech technical things to to see and view and you know reviews and unboxings and it just. Uh, spark the fire for this channel, if you will. Uh, I'll put his uh, channel in the description too. He's a really great guy. Um, you would like his videos. Um, hopefully, my videos might be a little similar to his. I um, mean, I don't want them to be too similar. I don't want them to be copywriting um, anything. But um, yeah, that's that's a. Uh, I got a text message. Uh, oh, that is my uh, MacBook 2006. Expect a full review soon. Um, Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great rest of the day.